What is up, comic creators? I'm gonna show you quickly how to add a really nice uh, text overlay for titles and things like that into your project. It's actually really simple to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually click on text on the bottom menu. And when you click on text, you'll see all the options pop up and you wanna click text template. Um, and when you open up text template, it's gonna show you all the various different types of templates that they have within the CapCut uh, program here in the app. It's amazing. Uh, all this is um, on both the Android and iOS version, but I'm gonna click on title and kind of scroll through here and kind of see what titles look good. Now, when I click the title itself, it's giving me all these weird prompts right now, but when I click the title itself, it'll actually pop up in my preview screen on the top so you can actually see what the title will look like on your footage and sample it through and you can kind of continue to go through and click multiple different titles uh, on your uh, on your options here and not actually add them into the to the project itself um, and just kind of sample and see what each one actually looks like and so once you actually uh, select the title uh, you can click anywhere uh, on the screen and exit out of that menu uh, and it'll be in your project in your timeline but so I think I'm gonna click this title here I like that one it looks kind of nice and so once I click it boom now it's in my project and when I click on the text boxes themselves now I get the option to edit and add in whatever my text uh, whatever my whatever I want my text to be so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type in my first video uh, on the top and uh, add that in here so pardon my my slow typing skills <laughs> but and then on the bottom I want to click on the text box uh, on the bottom I will uh, click and add in there uh, subscribe please subscribe so never a bad time to uh, shamelessly beg for subscribers so don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys it really helps the channel out it helps me out a lot I greatly appreciate it so once you have that all set up in there now you've got your text popping up uh, and now there's a couple different things you can do you can uh, grab the uh, little box on the right hand side of the uh, screen there and when you drag that with your finger that will resize um, your text I think I accidentally cloned it so let me delete that real quick and delete the first one there we go so yeah you grab that and you can resize your text as you hold it down if you pull it back and forth like that um, and resize it if you move your finger around you'll move be able to move the text around a lot you can uh, edit text obviously you can completely delete it in the top left hand side uh, and then you can duplicate it but see I can go crazy with this and drag it all over the place so <laughs> just going a little nuts here but yeah so as long as you have your finger laid down on it like that you can move it all around and do whatever kind of crazy thing you want to do as far as positioning goes uh, but it's that bottom right hand side that allows you to uh, you know resize it and move it around and all that kind of stuff so the other thing here is when you click on the actual graphic itself if you hold your finger down on the edges there you can actually uh, extend the amount of time that it's on the screen um, and uh, you know obviously the animation of the graphic doesn't grow when you extend it so it kind of can get a little wonky as you do that um, but the other thing too is if you hold your uh, finger down, I can go all the way with this. Um, just know that, yeah, that animation is not going to extend when you do that. On the other side, when you hold your finger down on it too, you can extend it uh, closer to the edge. Uh, when you hold your finger down on the graphic just in the center and move it around, that'll move the text as far as when it pops up in the timeline. But you can see as I did that, my animation isn't really growing with that so that's the little wonky thing about it you want to make sure um, that the animation doesn't get too weird so maybe you want that but just be aware of it if you're gonna extend the amount of time it's on the screen like that the animation doesn't extend with it and so uh, the animation will happen at the point it's supposed to happen and not move with it but as you can see I can hold my finger down on it move it across the timeline kind of place it wherever I need the text to be but that's how you position the text within your uh, project as well and that's it guys that's a quick tutorial on how to use uh, text overlays uh, and make really nice ones for your project hopefully that helps you guys out let me know if you have any other questions or comments in the comment section below please like and subscribe that really helps the channel once again and i'll catch you guys on the next one thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please take the time to like comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our youtube overlords Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.